Nestled in this microscopic needle are all the genes to make a healthy human, and for the first time they're being injected directly into an egg. It's a technique that could prevent some of the most devastating inherited diseases. Oh, I've got some milk. Which would I like? And I've got the juice. Diseases such as the one that affects Edward Bernardi. He can't eat solids, needs constant care, and eventually he'll die of it, just as his brothers and sisters did. All inherited rogue DNA from their mum, a family curse that could be wiped out by the new technique. It would stop somebody going through the heartache of losing and burying six babies um, who've been born and up to, up to four years old and, and then having a son who's with this dreadful condition which could be, could be taken away. Around 100 babies a year are born with diseases caused by defective mitochondria, the tiny batteries that power every cell and that we inherit from our mothers. But scientists at Newcastle University perfected a technique for removing the mother's and father's DNA from a fertilised egg, leaving behind dodgy mitochondria. They then injected that DNA into a donor egg that had already been stripped of its genetic material but had healthy mitochondria. The resulting embryo, now free of inherited disease, was grown for several days to prove it was normal. It's very much like a laptop computer requires energy to work. It's exactly the same in our patients. In essence, we're really just changing over the batteries. So all the information, all the information present in the hard drive and all the genetic information it stays within the cell, we're changing over the batteries. The scientists are now planning further studies to prove the technique is safe. They could then apply for ethical approval to implant one of the embryos into an affected mother and allow her to have a healthy child. Thomas Moore, Sky News.